again, it's me, Isaiah, and I've taken it upon myself to do a more true, authentic replication of the uh, supposed video entitled Evolution of a Perpetual Motion Machine. Um, I believe it's a total fake, but I was challenged by another YouTube visitor, uh, viewer that my replication in my former video was not very well done, which I thought about it for a while, and he was right. And so I wanted to do a more true, authentic replication, and also to show just how easy it would be to fake this video using uh, your handy dandy air blower. Um, I've replicated basically everything I know how to do. Um, this magnet is permanent magnet, not neodymium, simply because I haven't ordered it yet. Um, I do have magnets on route that will further complete the project. Uh, Brazilian cherry wood. Um, quarter inch pipe cut out so you can see. I'm not sure if the tension of the spring is right, but I have uh, the bottom washer complete along with pads, quarter inch plastic uh, bearing. For whatever reason, he used a tongue and groove system in the wood here, which I replicated also. He used a bolt going across, and it would perplex me how to get the cylinder here, these magnets to be attached to the cylinder until I realized that he probably used a steel cylinder, which I found at Goodwill, and coated with a brass vinyl across it. And to adhere the magnets, I merely scraped off the vinyl underneath each magnet and glued it on with super glue, and attached this uh, with bolts and then T-nuts inside of the cylinder. It made it incredibly easy to mount these magnets, being that this was a steel sleeve. Uh, what is further replicated is the gizmo under here, not really sure what to call that, but, so, as you can see, uh, it is pretty darn close to the original, the background is different, these aren't black, I'm going to be changing these out, this is silver, but mine is black, looks like he has a pin going through here, which I don't understand why that would be with being tongue and groove, um, as you can see, this is very simple to fake, spot. Even from far away, you can not only have it going, there you go. He had a release on the top, so I'm assuming he probably had the air blowing, and when he released it, the air caught, the air caught these top magnets, therefore pushing it. So the bit, the air blower would be out of frame. Um, obviously, the only next step I really need to complete is the top magnet, which I believe he had a plastic cylinder, probably coated with aluminum foil or vinyl of some sort. I'm going to be sticking neodymium magnets inside, being north and south, so they attract. These are all lined up north. There's not opposites. And there we go. Right here, obviously. Uh, let me tour this camera around so you can see more. So here's the plunger, which I've tried. Kind of a funny thing about it. It's, leads to another thing is that this was not actually a magnet simply because no matter which pole I use flipping upside down gluing it down it is attracted see right now it's attracted to these center magnets if I reverse this magnet here it's attracted to this void right in this space because it's trying to attract to this side which obviously lends that this was not a magnet at all uh, simply because it net doesn't, it's kind of a neutral. If it was iron, it would have been attracted to this and not attracted here. As you can see, this is sucked up when the bottom comes on. But it's pretty faithful replication. Um, this I just found at the hardware store. This is a skateboard bearing, very nicely done. 
tongue and groove joint as I'm assuming he probably used and more of the steel sleeve looks like he used a quarter inch nut right there which I further rec replicated including the hole um, this is what I did a little differently on my model was that I used nuts in here a nut through here to tighten down the wood to make it I do it on handrail systems it secures the wood down really really well um, I also have a, a guard going across here which he has Upon further investigation of making this model I realized um, 15 different aspects that are different on the video that Robert 33 claims this is his original model with the model with the air blower on it as you can see my little pointer hmm, my pointer's gone anyway there's a difference here on the bolt come on camera and here on the bolt and uh, this nut here the clip to the nut the bottom spring the bearing this rod going across is not the same uh, the reflective coating on the cylinder was not the same the magnets are not as reflective as in the original video as shown up here also seeing that the bolts are in different arrangements the center axle is made out of wood instead of a, a bolt system like in the original video um, he had a hole which leads me to believe this acrylic is a, a totally new piece there's a hole in it when the original video there isn't the shaft here along with the reciprocating inside shaft is different the spring system is different it includes no washer on the bottom uh, so far I've seen 15 differences from this one that he claims is the real version to the original version uh, of the video displayed on YouTube um, probably has some fun time making up a whole cons conspiracy about the whole thing that never worked in the first place but it is fun to investigate these things and find out the little differences and also make a model that is uh, worthy of a perfect replication as far as I'm concerned so that's about it for now and when I complete this I will demonstrate how uh, using the same background same pads how this was easily faked and get it to make it look much clearer and like the original video except knowing that this was a fake and not a real working machine.